Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Well, it's been a while since I put a video on YouTube, and behind me here is my 1999 Mooney M20R Ovation I just purchased about five months ago. We'll go over it right now in some detail, and we'll sit down and talk about other things going on and what's to be expected with the Mooney behind me. So stick around and hope you enjoyed the video. See you in a bit. Okay, folks, so here is November 2183 Alpha, and let's go over the airplane. So this is a Mooney M20R Ovation. So this is a long body Mooney. We had the short body, mid body, and the long body. So the Ovation is a long body. You can tell from the windows on these planes. You have a little kind of divider for the interior, and then you have a little more of a window here, but it's a long window, long body Mooney. Uh, the tail is the tail, as we all know. The Mooney's backwards tail. It's a VOR. Antennas over top top here. Um, the paint is probably in this plane, I want to say a 9 out of 10. There's some usual spots. Uh, the plane is 23 years old and the paint is original, but it's a beautiful plane. We got all LED lighting. James Gallagher. Check him out online all LED recon lights just got them put in all LED and the uh, Ovation has a uh, taxi light and a landing light both LED again James Gallagher he's online look him up uh, check out his website strike you a deal um, it takes eight quarts the engines an IO 550 G engine fuel injected obviously 280 horse um, this engine is actually rated for 310 horse so you can actually uh, 
get a um, STC to do, make it 310 horsepower, um, but then your TVO goes down to I think 1800, something like that. So right now, as it sits, it's uh, 2000 TVO, and I have a 280 horsepower IO 550G. That's the outside. Both wings in the middle have landing and taxi lights, of course, all LED. Again, James Gallagher, check them out. Easy guy to work with. So she is all LED'd and even the beacon on the bottom, or if I can find it. Oh, where is it? It's here somewhere. There it is. Uh, if you can see it, that's also LED red. And I had Moyer Aviation, of course, MPO install. Baggage compartment, like the usual. Pretty big in the Ovation uh, compared to my C model. Um, of course, I already have junk back here. <laughs> I don't have a hat shelf, if you can see. The hat shelf was taken up by the air conditioner. So this plane does have air conditioning, so I don't have a hat shelf. Um, but the air conditioner works great. I used it when I went to Florida. Um, love it. It works pretty fast, too. And, of course, this plane has oxygen. Back seats do recline. So you got no benches, two captains in the back. Um, so it's pretty big compared to my C model. So, but I, I fit got two suitcases, a bunch of luggage. It headed down to Key West a few weeks ago. So that's the inside there, the back compartment. And of course they close like anything else in the Moonies. Let's get back on. This actually blew off somehow. Must have been a little bit of a, um, a you know, a little bit of a tear maybe in the top corner over there. Um, it ripped off coming back from Florida. Uh, so we got to get that taken care of the next annual I'll get a new one put in but the runner kind of peeled up a little bit not a big deal front seats of course captains of course um, armrest of course and then we'll go talk about the interior here now these seats they recline back they go up they go down so very comfortable leather seats in the ovation so love it a lot it's got the newer panel on the Ovations, the other ones had the clusters kind of right around here for the engine monitoring. This one has it across the top, uh, but this is getting it changed out. Don't know what I'm doing yet, of course, but it's uh, it was interesting going from a glass panel for, I flew that uh, my Mooney M20C for about three years to glass panel back to dialogue and six packs, but I got back used to it again. <laughs> Um, but I did purchase it with the uh, Garmin 750. I'm getting used to that compared to the IFD 540. And then, of course, the Garmin 345 uh, transponder, ADSB in and out. So that's basically what I have that's pretty new. If I do the panel upgrade, obviously I'll be keeping the Garmin 750 and the 345. I also have this backup, which is pretty, it's not really a backup, it's a handheld. Um, it's the Eris, I think, 660. I like it for traffic. I can put the VOR maps on it, so it's pretty cool. Uh, so I use that for traffic, VOR maps, and little, you know, airport direct twos and stuff like that. Uh, but that's the panel. Um, it does have the KAP 150 autopilot, um, nav mode, approach mode. Uh, it's really pretty. It's pretty good. It's getting old, but it's pretty good. And I have the pre-select uh, vertical speed and also altitude hold uh, where you want the altitude and vertical speed up and down obviously and then it does a pretty good job um, it does do the approaches pretty good the RNAVs um, LPV and the ILS's it catches the glide slope and it'll bring it down so it's pretty cool it's my first time having an autopilot in an airplane and I gotta tell you flying all the way to the Key West an autopilot is a lot better than hand flying it all the way to Daytona a couple years back with the M20C I had uh, but the M20C is just like that plane I had was just an awesome airplane uh, so it's it's this is a little bit different of an airplane obviously a little faster a little more room in the back um, but it pretty much handles the same but it is about 800 pounds heavier than my other uh, Mooney uh, two batteries a gear driven alternator and a gear driven starter in this plane um, it holds 95 gallons 89, um, 89 usable so it gets pretty good i get it down to about uh, 12 12.1 12.2 gallons per hour 
Um, so it's pretty good and they about 170 ish knots, which is really nice. That's the interior of the Ovasion. Um, oh, look at this. Got cup holders. Interesting. I actually used them. I can actually spill some coffee there. I got to clean that up still. But awesome cup holders. <laughs> I got two of them. Pretty neat. Um, I do like the fuel selector is in the middle. I don't have to take my seatbelt off um, to do the fuel selector. My seat model had it in the middle of the floor, so you kind of had to take your seatbelt off and kind of bend over to get it, which wasn't a big deal. Um, and then there's selector left and right tanks. So each tank ha holds about 45 gallons. Um, so there you go there, pretty cool. Cup holders, they actually work. And here's the AC knobs. So the AC in this plane, um, you have low and high. Um, then of course you have just a fan. So if you don't want the AC on, you can just use the fans and then here's the AC control here. Um, of course your flaps are up here, electric flaps, uh, one notch down on takeoff. And of course your, your vents defrost. The defrost um, vent here, when you pull it out, the little motor actually pushes up the, the hot air into the windscreen, which is pretty neat. Uh, parking brake, the usual down here. Um, the AC does work pretty good. It's, it's, the air comes from the overhead and in the back, back where, that, where the hat rack is or the vent there, it pushes out air back there also. So the front passengers, well, the pilots in the front and uh, the back passengers have their own air conditioner vent. So it's just pretty cool. Love it, love it, love it. Um, other than that, folks, there's the, 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 fu the diffuses. Um, you know, it's pretty ELT controller. Nice, has nice ELT. Um, and then it also has the slaved um, HSI, which is nice. Uh, glide slopes, you just, you don't have to kind of always do the compass to this. It does it automatically. In the back, there's a uh, gyro that kind of makes it on course. I mean, the heading of the compass almost all the time. Pretty much exactly what the compass says, that's where the plane's doing. So it's just pretty neat to have that. But again, once this gets changed out, it'll all be gone. Uh, we'll see. Uh, electric trim, autopilot disconnect. You got this plane also has, you really can't see it, but a little switch there has speed brakes, which I do like the speed brakes a lot. It's it's pretty good. Let me close this door because take flight is starting up there. It's a fleet of diamonds over there. Busy flight school. Just over top of my prop there is, a, is the um, take flight aviation. Uh, pretty popular flight school in the area. Um, so that's basically it little lights this is what the air, the air conditioning comes out i don't know if the camera can zoom in or if it's blurry or not but ac comes out of here um ac comes out of here and or the vent and then the back that slip in the back is ac also comes out of there you can turn the ac off and use the vent to make the air come out of the same thing but when you turn the ac on turn the vent off and then that's that and of course you have your map lights you have a dim and a high map lights um, visors awesome airplane can't complain seat belts um but yeah that's the m20r ovation that i purchased um it's one experience of a lifetime um kind of one of those things where i had to kind of do it um, if you have any questions here you guys can email me uh pilot fund 101 at gmail.com or a message below is pretty cool and um we're gonna talk about it and we're gonna go flying with it uh very soon do a, a, a in-flight video i just want to get this video out there it's been a long road um and let's talk about what's going on so hope you guys like the mooney ovation um an awesome airplane um speed brakes work out pretty good i like the speed brakes it's it's good to um if you want to go downhill everybody knows the moonies over speed pretty quickly when you're going downhill uh and because of the the wings how they're designed are very thin they, they really go cut through the air pretty good so you really need to let me close this door here so you really need to um use the speed brakes if you're going downhill and atc they want you to speed up and descend quicker or whatever they want you to do it's nice to put the nose down you're not in the red line <laughs> so the speed brakes do help out pretty good and they're not even that big but they help out pretty good and there's no limitations on the speed brakes so you can put them up at any any out of any um airspeed you need to put them up at so it's pretty cool so I like that feature a lot and of course the i missed this real quick here um does have electric trim these are your wing flaps obviously they're electric and your rudder 
um, trim the tabs here. Uh, electric rudder. So um, the Garmin Autopilot that I'm thinking about getting will have the yaw dampener. Um, so it's a three axis autopilot. Uh, so it's gonna have that as well. So nice to have all the fun stuff. And up here, folks, I don't know if you can see it the way the, the sun's hitting the airplane here, but here's all your landing lights, tax, let's turn these off. I had those on when I was taxiing. But um, recon lights, taxiing, landing lights, there's two switches, one for each side of the airplane. And then over here is your, of course, your beacon, um, nav lights, and your strobe. So that's all up here, which is pretty cool. I, I like it. Pretty, pretty cool uh, spot to put them because you kind of run out of spots down here. So it's pretty cool to having it up there. It's like a miniature airline where they kind of put them. So uh, that's where all those switches are as well. All right, guys, so let's go. We're going to do a little video again uh, to um, we'll tie it into this video and a couple things we'll talk about and uh, we'll go from there i'll see you guys in a bit got all the bells and whistles always going off when i do a video isn't it always the case <laughs> see you around uh, one more thing before we put her away uh is that everybody asks about this little tug i have here um really really cool you know the piece the metal piece right here uh pull it out a little bit and i'll show you metal piece here goes into the front of the Moonies like that basically little gear motor here and there's a tube that goes in with the shaft all the way up and it's Minimax Minimax aircraft tugs really really cool company uh, and basically it's a drill you pull this out you charge it you push this button oh, I got to charge it I got one little bar left See what your power setting is, or your, your, your battery power is, and then it's very easy. Uh, push it in, push it out, pull the trigger, pull the trigger, and push it up. Put, it's, like, it's like a drill. Pull the trigger, push this little bar right here, and it'll go back. Pretty easy, reliable, easy to put together. Mini Max tugs. So check them out online. Mini Max aircraft tugs, really cool. And it's very simple to put together and operate. Very straightforward, um, and of course, they're made here in the United States. So, check them out online Mini Max Aircraft Tugs. So, we're gonna put her away and we'll talk to you guys in a bit. Hey, folks, well, welcome back. It's been a while. I'm in my hangar in Orange County, New York. Uh, it might be a little bit echoing here because of the hangar and the birds and take flight mics are up their planes for training today, so you might hear some background noise. Well, here we are. I'm next to my Mooney M20R Ovation. Uh, long story. I've been on YouTube in a while. Um, I lost my good friend of mine in November. Uh, suddenly passed away, and uh, then the plane was and then the other Mooney 688 in November was on the market uh, in December. So I didn't fly uh, why the Mooney was for sale, and sold that. Uh, I believe in January sometime. I got picked up the Mooney here. Uh, of course, did all my training in it, and didn't want to put anything on video, and had to get used to the, used to the new airplanes. Uh, what a difference between the C model and the uh, R model, obviously. Uh, longer body and faster airplane. Uh, the hardest, the hard to slow down. So I had to be on top of the plane uh, way before I had to be on top of my other uh, Mooney. So, uh, you know, so transitioning through that stuff, and my mom passed, unfortunately, uh, suddenly as well. That was a big blow uh, about a month ago. So I kind of been a little bit of a, a down streak here, but we're back. Um, I'm pretty much up to snuff with the airplane, and we're gonna go flying with it very soon on video. I just want to introduce the new airplane. Uh, it's a 1999 Mooney M20R Ovation. Uh, what did you hear the birds? Every time I do a video, either the dogs are going or the birds are going or airplanes are flying, <laughs> some noise, but it's okay. Uh, so, yeah, so air conditioning, oxygen, love it, it works great. Use loads up there, 963. Uh, so, it's a good airplane, the uh, Mooney Ovation. So, my last basically hurrah, this is it for me, uh, for my, basically my. Uh, you know, lifelong airplane. This would be it. I don't need anything faster or, or better, to be honest with you. So uh, so here we are, and um, that's kind of my story behind it all. And got a you know a good good deal with the airplane. Um, love it, and we'll do a lot more flying with it very soon. 
Uh, again, this video was just introduced to New Airplane. I got a lot of emails. I do appreciate everybody emailing me uh, when the next video is going to be, how I'm doing. Uh, everything is fine. Just a couple hiccups with some uh, you know, good friend of mine passing away, my mother passing away uh, at a young age. Uh, so we've got, got, got through all that right now, and here we are. Facebook, uh, over 130,000 subscribers on Facebook followers, you would say. Uh, thanks again for the support on Facebook. I'm on YouTube, of course, Pilot101. And if you want to email any questions, pilotfun101 at gmail.com as well. So uh, the process for this plane was pretty easy. It was in Michigan. Um, I found it uh, on Trade a I believe, or controller. And uh, negotiated through everything we had to do, went to look at it, and basically here we are. Uh, I didn't, I had a hard time selling the C model. You guys know 6887 November. I put a lot of blood and, blood and effort into that panel uh, with Dynon, a uh, Dynon great company, uh, and Moyer Aviation in Mount Pocono, uh, Mike Papa, Oscar, an identifier, and uh, great experience, love that plane. Uh, but it's one of those things where you have a once in a lifetime opportunity and that's what I had with this plane, um, and selling my plane, and I'm like, you know what, this is gonna be, it's not going to happen again, uh, let me just pull the trigger and bite the bullet, and we did. And here we are. 2183 Alpha is my new tail number, not 6887 November, uh, but it did go to a great home. Uh, somebody in uh, Connecticut um, bought it, uh, loves it, flies it and glad he's happy with it uh, and so for this panel here i'm going to decide what i'm going to do yet uh, a couple things up in the air dynon this probably is not going to be an option only because they're definitely not going to offer the autopilot in the long bodies which this is and so that's kind of a downfall i do i do like the dynon products uh, very supportive uh, but we'll see what we're going to come up with i got a couple options so it'll probably get done sometime this year later in the year i'm not sure what i've decided yet of course you guys will know uh, so if you have any questions um, about anything, um, pilotfun101 at gmail.com. Um, again, I'm very happy to introduce uh, my Mooney M20R Ovation. 1999, built in October of 99. Almost 2000. <laughs> just, just missed it. So there we have it. Great guys, again, I appreciate the support. Thank you so much for flying along with me. I know it's been a long time. I appreciate the emails and the text messages from people. Uh, so this year, July 8th, is our fourth annual fly-in here in Orange County Airport in Montgomery, New York. Mike Golf Juliet's identifier. Everybody's welcome to fly in. Please RSVP at rsvpflyin at gmail.com with your tail number for flying in. Uh, spaces are limited. Um, anybody can drive in. Uh, and park in the parking lot. It's open to the public. Um, Drive-in, flying, barbecue. We'll have the live music again. We'll have some giveaways again, 50-50s, um, stuff like that. So uh, look out. You can go on my Facebook page, and it's the uh, the event is posted, and also my website, pilotfun101.com. And the FAA will be here doing classes also on July 8th, 11 to 3, uh, for Wings Credit. So they have, I think, three classes. So definitely look at their website as well. Until next time guys, fly safe, be safe. And next time I promise you, we'll be in the airplane flying somewhere. Probably to Columbia County. <laughs> See you guys around, thanks again.